Good morning, Dustiverse. Pull up a lounger and relax as I take you on a journey through the 56th version of your location and recommendations. As you can see, we're in the tower. <clears throat> Let's go see what Squiggly Face has today. Rise of Iron is in full effect. Hard mode coming out next week. Iron Banner done for the first time, which was fantastic. The drops were amazing. The competition was fierce. We had a good time. Our clan had a good time. Come on, sure. We've got the uh, raid down to a science now. Loving it. Absolutely loving it still. Wow. He brings us some goodies today. Okay. So the exotic engram this week, legacy engram art. Well, wait a second. Exotic engram does not say legacy. Huh. All right. Comments. I'm gonna buy a couple. See what happens. The MK44 standicides for the Titan. Probably the most useless exotic armor in the game, in my opinion. Anyways, pardon me, coming through. <laughs> That's fun to say anyway. Increase the duration of shoulder charge and tighter turn radius while sprinting. I suppose if you combine this with the, um, where is it here? The artifact that lets you, this one, memory of shoulder. That removes the sprint cooldown penalty. I guess you can just run and run and run and run and run. <laughs> uh, for the hunter, the bones of ale. I must have, I, I have to say. Um, defy extinction. Upgrades double jump with an additional jump. Uh, gotta have them. If you don't have them, grab them. They're awesome. Uh, Sunbreakers for the Warlock. When one can wield the Fire of Stars, what use is flesh and bone? Increase the duration of your solar grenade while gaining an additional solar grenade charge. Uh, these are a lot of fun. Um, one of my favorite exotics for the Warlock. These band nades for days. <laughs> And the Trespasser Sidearm, one of my colleagues was complaining yesterday that he uh, doesn't have a Trespasser yet, Mr. Agitated Geezer, and you can't complain anymore, so shut up. You are not welcome, unknown. I beg to differ. Shiro, whore. <laughs> um, it's a sidearm. Uh, the exotic it, reloading after a kill causes the next burst to be longer to be a longer, more powerful burst. Um, it also fires uh, in bursts, like uh, I think it's three or four. Um, it's an amazing sidearm. I don't like sidearms, but this one is pretty kick-ass. Um, if you don't have it, grab it. Even you know, it, it, it's it's awesome. <laughs> You'll have fun with it. And then for the ornaments, we have the uh, what's this one? And the invective. Oh yeah. And the Moon Glow, which is for the Hawkmoon, which uh, if I had 25 silver dust, I would be buying. Um, and then of course you got your glass needles, your three of coins, your heavy ammo synths, uh, purple goo for your sparrow, baby blue goo for your sparrow, and motes of light. Well, there you have it, folks. Your location and recommendations for sure this week. I hope everybody has a fantastic Destiny weekend. Hope you all make it to the lighthouse if you're trying. Let me know your thoughts, comments. Don't forget to stop by radiopressgaming.com for all of your gamers' news. And we'll catch you next week.